Now it's the thicker marine layer, increasing cloud cover. And then the secondary trough is going to move in on Sunday. So this is going to keep those skies cloudy and the temperatures cool. Air quality outside, most of us seeing good to moderate, but we do have a couple of spots near the San Gabriel Valley foothills into the uh, mountain communities where we're seeing unhealthy air. So keep that in mind if you're planning something outdoors. 79 will be the high temperature today for Simi Valley, Woodland Hills, and Van Nuys. 75 for Burbank along the coast, Manhattan Beach, 67 degrees today. Also 67 for Hawthorne, 70 degrees for Irvine today, 69 in Laguna Beach, and Riverside will see 80 degrees today. San Fernando Valley, the next seven days looks like this. So you're going to be above average for the entire week. 85 today. You'll see sunshine by this afternoon after those clouds clear. A little bit cooler for Mother's Day, 82 for a high. Uh, by Monday, you'll notice a difference only mid 70s, but then we're going to warm it right back up to 85 degrees on Tuesday. We'll stay in the mid 80s through Thursday. For Continue to see clouds hugging the coast for the rest of the day. Then the marine layer starts to move back in later tonight for spots like the coast and the LA basin, some of our valley communities. Tomorrow morning, same story as today. We'll wake up to the low clouds and fog, but then see more clearing. Unless you're along the coast, tomorrow should be partly cloudy. High temps are 88 degrees today, breezy conditions. We'll keep it windy on Sunday, but start to cool temperatures off. Back into the 90s, though, by Tuesday, which is where we will stay through Thursday, then back into the 80s by Friday, and then temperatures back into the upper 70s by Friday. We all get to smell Drake. I'm not kidding. I'll explain. That's right after the 8:38 stretch. Hmm. You know, I'm always curious about how people smell. True. I love to know what do you think Drake would smell like. So I actually know. Um, I would have thought woodsy. Woodsy. Woodsy with a light lemon. With a light lemon citrus okay. edge to it. Okay. I was wrong. I'm gonna go with maple. I'm going to maple. Maple. Because he's from Canada. Ma oh, that's a good... They, everybody from Canada loves maple. Right? Maple. Any guesses? No. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll be eager to find out. Okay. Yeah. I'll smell it. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Dana. You're welcome. It is 748. So ahead we are. Can you talk to you? and 59 degrees in Riverside. Not that much of a difference from this time yesterday. A couple degrees warmer for Los Angeles, Santa Ana, and Oceanside. So we do have that low pressure moving through. That will cool temperatures off for most of us, especially those coastal regions, and give us an, a little bit of increase in cloud cover, more than we have seen. A secondary trough will move through tomorrow, so that will get partly cloudy skies along the coast and keep our temperatures cooler. We're still seeing some very strong gusts in the desert communities, and that will be the story for most of the day. Breezy conditions across Southern California for most of us, though, and that becomes a little bit more widespread by this afternoon. Desert and mountains, though, you're going to continue to see some of those strong gusts all the way through the night and even through Sunday. We'll call Mother's Day breezy for most of us. Uh, once again, though, we did have a wind advisory that just expired in the last few minutes. Air quality outside, good to moderate for most of us, but we are seeing a couple of those orange spots, meaning unhealthy air. Coastal communities, here's a look at the next seven days. 68 degrees, morning clouds, but we will see sunshine by this afternoon. Mother's Day, partly cloudy and in the upper 60s. We'll keep the upper 60s all the way through Tuesday and then the low 70s by the middle of the week. And that's where we'll stay all the way through that seven day forecast. Mark and Lynette, back to you. All right, still ahead. We are safely landing on a sea platform, making or marking a critical milestone. It's the 10th successful mission for this Falcon 9 rocket booster. During flight, it deployed 60 satellites for SpaceX's Starlink project. It aims to provide fast and inexpensive internet for hard to reach areas globally. No. Oh. So say hello to Zip. He's the newest baby wallaby at the Cincinnati Zoo. Members of the zoo's care team unexpectedly found Zip in the pouch of his mother, Ava. They say he is a redneck wallaby. He's got really big feet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I had no idea wallabies Zip had such Judah. big feet. Look at his rib cage. Yeah. He must have been in that pouch without food for a while. Well, I get maybe wallabies are very thin, very lean. Yeah, he does look oh, really. Looks a little macy, yeah, he looks a little mm -hmm. hungry. Aww. He's going to grow into his ears and maybe his feet. <laughs> <Big> feet <yeah. laughs> what do they eat? 
Wallabies? Yeah. Um, hey, Siri. Let's hey, Siri, what, is wall hey, Siri <laughs> what do wallabies eat? Does your Siri, do you have your Siri on? That's I mean, dangerous. It's on my computer and everything else. She walks right up. Grasses and herbs. Flowers, fungus, grasses, insects, and leaves. Hmm. Yeah. There you go. go. Thanks, Siri. Thanks, Siri. I'm not always that nice to her. Just no, that. I've seen. I've heard you be very mean to Siri, and she's kind of snotty she's right back. 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 Oh yeah, she. Yeah. I cannot she's answer that. Huh? She says I cannot answer. Well, your that. Siri's no. not as smart as her Siri. Oh. <laughs> Let's just put it this way. She says that's not very nice, Casey. <laughs> Yes, she does. Uh, and on that, we'll move on. Uh, current temperatures outside on this Sunday morning, 62 degrees downtown, 61 in Santa Monica, 53 in Oxnard, and 63 for Lancaster. Uh, not that much of a difference from this time yesterday. Uh, San Bernardino, you are four degrees cooler, one degree warmer downtown. Looking at the satellite, low pressure system still over the Rockies. That is giving us cloud cover and cooler temperatures. But by Tuesday night, high pressure starts to build. And Wednesday, we will see temperatures above average for several days. This is a look at wind gusts outside. They're not